this is a game where everything didn't go great. In the first half, Tua had two bad interceptions. That's okay. This was a Dan Marino-esque performance. For those of you old enough who actually have watched him play, Marino would have games where he'd start off the game slow, throw a couple of bad interceptions, but in the second half would just light up, light it up and leave Miami storming back. That's what this game was. It reminded me of the 80s and 90s with Marino. Uh, he might start off a little slow, have a couple of bad passes, but you know he would yep. rebound and Tua rebound. That's what this game was. The – Defense didn't have a good day. Xavier Howard didn't have a good day. The special teams from the opening kickoff did not have a good day. And it's, you're going to have days like this over the course of a 17-game season where, you know, the special teams is having an off day, the defense isn't playing well, and that's when you have to rely on your quarterback to pick up the slack. And today, Tua did exactly that and then some. I mean, six touchdowns. Let's go to some historical data here. Uh, only – Dan Marino threw only for six touchdowns once in his career, September 21st, 1986, versus the Jets in the Meadowlands, that wild game. Everyone who – I shouldn't see everyone. People who are old enough to remember can, can remember. Dan Marino threw five touchdowns in a game, um, five times, all between 1984 and 1994, with the last time being that week one game against the Patriots when he came back from the Achilles. That iconic game, two it's a 469. Uh, passing yards, Reno only threw more than 469 passing yards three times in his career. And they all came at home. Tua did 469 on the road for Marino. He had 521 versus Jets in 88, 473, that week one game against the Patriots again in 94, and he threw for 470 in 1984 versus the Raiders. Tua had four touchdowns in the fourth quarter and 199 yards. Tom, only four quarterbacks in the history of the NFL – have thrown for four touchdowns in the fourth quarter of a wow. game. They are, listen to these names, Kent Stabler, 1980, Joe Montana, 1989, Vinny Testaverde against the Dolphins, 2000, when Miami blew that 30-7 to lead on Monday Night Football, the Monday Night Meltdown that we all remember. And here's the one name that's an outlier. Sage Rosenfels happened to do it in 2007. Don't, don't know what happened in that game. Um, <laughs> but... That's the historical context. That's how good this performance was. And, yes, as a fan of this team, it's okay to point out in the first half he made two bad decisions and threw two terrible passes. That does not overshadow the big picture here of six touchdowns and 469 yards, and they won this game because of him. For the past two years, there's been a lot of wins that they won not because of him. They won this game solely because of him. Yes, Hill made plays. Yes, Waddle made plays. But he had to give him the ball. Okay, he had to give him the ball. Yep. And he got him the ball, and he made plays, and that's why they won the game.